Hey, this is Asante here once again from the Tech Muse Academy with another MixLessons.com video quick tip. Uh, this one comes from a member of the Recording Review Forum who goes by the name Daniel Dr. Phil Smith. Uh, Daniel writes in, I have a Roland TD3 drum kit and I'm getting a Tascam US600 recording interface soon. It has four input slots and two MIDI. Will using the MIDI with my drum kit improve the sound or what? I know I could do some research, but I'm also trying to get my 15 posts here. Um, well, let's talk a little bit about MIDI. Um, MIDI, for starters, and this is a common misconception, it's a question, uh, it's a type of question that I get a lot. Um, MIDI, in reality, has nothing to do with sound. It is not sound, it is uh, more, you could think of it as a statistical representation of a performance um, that can be sent to an instrument to create sound to a to a keyboard or to a software instrument but the MIDI itself is not sound so the quick answer to your question is no MIDI will not improve or have any impact whatsoever on the sound quality of your recording um, where it might come in handy uh, as I'll explain in a moment is in being able to replace the sounds that you had originally recorded with higher quality sounds. Uh, more on that in a minute. But first, let's start with the basics. MIDI um, uh, stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, and it's a technology that goes back to the early 80s and honestly hasn't changed much since the early 80s. And it was a communication protocol designed to allow um, uh, instruments to communicate with one another. So <clears throat> a keyboard, for example, could then communicate with a rack synth module um, and allow you to play the sounds of the module using the keys of a separate keyboard, um, using the, the communication protocol that we call MIDI. So essentially what MIDI data is, it's a collection of uh, points of information that represent your performance. So for example, um, if I were to plug a keyboard into my DAW, uh, create a MIDI track and record some uh, playing onto the MIDI track, what's actually being recorded is things like what note did I hit, when did I hit it along the timeline, how hard did I hit it, which we call velocity, because in MIDI that's represented by the speed at which the key is depressed. Um, and then also, how long did I hold the note, the sustain? When did I release the note? Okay, those are the types of information that are represented in basic MIDI. There are some other things like continuous controller values and whatnot, but I won't get into that at the moment. Um, the point is, is that that information that got recorded is not sound at all. The beauty of MIDI is that it does allow you to edit to perfection your performance so that you can then send that performance, perfected performance, to a, an instrument, have the MIDI track that has been edited play the instrument for you, and then you can re-record re the results, the actual audio results from that instrument. So in answer to, uh, to Daniel's question, how might he improve the quality of his, uh, his audio um, uh, using MIDI, a way, a method that I like to use a lot, especially talking about drums, he's talking about the TD3 electronic drum kit from Roland, is I will connect the analog output stereo left and right of my drum module to an input in my interface, set up a stereo audio track, and record the actual sound of my module, while at the same time using a MIDI connection to record the performance, the MIDI performance information uh, uh, from, the, uh, from the performance as well. Um, this allows me a couple of options. One, if I played perfectly and the sounds of my uh, electronic drum kit module are uh, up to my standards, then you've got a nice simple recording, stereo recording of your drums. The MIDI, however, allows me to then uh, edit. I can go in and if I, you know, hit a wrong drum on a fill or maybe I rushed a fill a little bit as is a common tendency. Uh, you get a little excited in the, uh, in the good parts and you rush a little bit. Um, I can go in and I can quantize, which means straighten up the timing of my notes. I can uh, uh, delete or add any notes that were incorrect in the performance itself. And once I've got that performance perfect in MIDI, I now have a couple of options. One, I can send the MIDI, <clears throat> if your drum module has a MIDI input as well as an output, some of them don't, I can send the MIDI track back out of the computer into the drum module, have the perfected edited performance 
triggering the drum module while then simultaneously recording the analog audio output of the drum module back onto a stereo audio track. And I get essentially a perfect performance every single time. That's option number one. Option number two, which is my preferred method, is to use some of the software drum sample playback engines that are available today. My, uh, my, my favorite at the moment is Tracks Superior Drummer. I think it sounds great. I think it's a, a user-friendly interface and it's very, very powerful. So what I'll do is I'll open up a VST instrument track, um, a MIDI track with an instrument, a software instrument attached to it, and I will send the MIDI performance to the software software instrument, which gives me fantastic sounds. Um, the, the samples that come with Superior Drummer stock are beautifully recorded. I believe they were captured at Avatar Studios um, with, you know, high-end mic pre's, high-end uh, uh, microphones, very, very pristine signal paths. An engineer who, who uh, painstakingly placed all the microphones to avoid phase issues. The acoustics in the environment were, were spot on. Uh, I get a way better recorded drum sound than I could ever possibly achieve in my basement with eight foot ceilings and my modest mic collection, no matter how skilled I am. Um, that's the way I prefer to do it. Now, Superior also allows me, once I've got the MIDI performance there, I can then actually export all of the microphones that were used in the recording session for the sample library and end up with, I believe, 16 or 18 channels of high quality, high bit depth, beautifully recorded drums with my performance that was perfectly edited previously in MIDI. So I hope that helps to sort of clear up the mystery surrounding MIDI, what it is, what it isn't, more importantly, and some, uh, uh, some quick ideas as to how you might utilize it. And uh, of course, as always, we'll see you on the next quick tip.